How you doing everyone? Welcome back to Chicken Block. In today's episode we're actually going to focus on the elevator on the main platform because I'm getting a little bit tired of using the, um, the scaffolding getting up and down and plus we need to kind of cover that up. So that's going to be my goal for today and we're going to make it look a little bit cool I guess. So yeah, I've already started some work. There's There's been a few changes since this episode and last. Um, at last episode, as a quick recap, we were building a chicken coop. I've now built all four of them on the bottom level. Um, so you'll see that in a second. But yeah, I'm just waiting on some food right now. And hopefully that's gonna be cooked. Almost done. So yeah, I've been I've been semi busy. I've been just literally grinding it out, building building some more huts. That's pretty much my life on the chicken block right now. Um, I've kind of spread these ch trees out to to the outer edge, so they they are literally hugging almost the bushes there. Um, and they are going to stay there for the best part because it's acacia, and acacia is kind of like a dibs dibs wood, right? Because it's orange. Um, I love acacia. It's amazing. So yeah, that's the plan. If we take a quick jump over here, we can start seeing the that I've been busy and I've changed the fronts. If you can see just over there, I've changed the fronts and you can't really see it from here, but I've also done that one. And you're gonna freak out with this, but don't freak out because it's not as bad as you probably think. I'm just gonna nerd pull up because I don't have any scaffolding on me. And Yes, I'm basically just blueprinting like what I want in this area. And as you can see, I've already done the very basic foundations of my platform here. Uh, this is going to be like the centerpiece for this island. Um, but we'll get to that in a short while. But yeah, I'm just kind of mapping stuff out, making sure that I've got sort of an idea in my head. So all this cobblestone will go. These will be bushes. Um, everything, rep every bit of cobble or, or whatever represents something. And what I've been doing is I've actually been kind of planning out where all the chickens are going to go. So there's going to be eight chickens over here. So I can fit eight different types. Mainly the ones over here are all nether chickens. Um, apart from the mob drop ones. I mean, you could put, a, I could put a blaze one here. I know it's like, um, Mycelium and ice is not like uh, nether related. This isn't just a nether island. It's just these are just random blocks. In all fairness, um, there's some more blocks over there and some mob drops. So we got the mob drops over there. So we got like leather. We got um, blaze because I'm pretty sure they will drop. We haven't got bla at the time of this recording. We haven't got a blaze chicken. So I I can imagine that. Um, I can imagine they drop blaze rods, not blaze powder. So as you can see, I put just put some signs down here. There's eight here as well. So we've got a bit of everything again. But this, the island over here serves a purpose. This island over here is all of like the um, valuable resources. So you've got like your diamonds, your emeralds, that kind of thing, right? And yeah, that's pretty much it. So we're going to have coal... Iron, gold, diamond, emerald, lapis, redstone, and quartz. This is the eight. This is kind of where all the all the goodies are, and it's getting late already. But yeah, um, today's focus is on this centerpiece. I kind of want to get this centerpiece done, and then that way I could probably just either live stream all of this or just get on with it off camera. I'm not going to show you me building every bit of this. Um, it's just going to be um, some chicken coops with with a little bit of decoration bushes and uh, you know long grass tall grass or whatever that kind of thing nothing too fancy you know you guys can pretty much do it without just by looking at it once if, if you're copying this I'm just gonna have a quick sleep so i'm gonna have a quick sleep and then i'm gonna grab all of the materials as you can see i've kind of started down here as well uh, there's a spruce sign there this is where we come down and this side will be where we go up. We're going to use the bubble columns. 
uh, on this map. So, yeah. Right, I'm going to grab all the stuff that I need to grab. And I'll see you in a sec. So, I've got a rough idea of how I want to do this. And first of all, I'm going to make a big old mess. I'm going to take that away and I'm going to put that there. Just to kind of stop it. I don't... I'm kind of just trying to make this basic setup look a lot better than it, it actually is. So that's kind of a plan. And then I'm just I'm not gonna use scaffolding because again I don't have any at hand and I'm I'm rubbish with them. So what I wanna do is I kinda of wanna do something like this where in fact I'm gonna kinda of do that in the corners and I'm just gonna it's just winging it. I'm not I'm not even I haven't even got a plan right now. I'm just literally winging it. Um so, yeah, I guess that's a space there as well. There's going to be, like, I'm going to, I'll chop them up. But what I want to do is I kind of want to just make it look look less plain and just kind of decorate it a little bit. It doesn't have to be tremendously fancy. Um, put some glowstone down here for some light. And then, I'm trying to think. I think I'm gonna do this so I definitely kind of want to like use this kind of pattern where it kind of skips a half slab and then places one so what I'm gonna do is rather than you guys watch me do this for like 20 minutes and try and get something going here what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut the camera and I'm gonna have a go and then I'll explain what I've done when I come back it's not gonna be anything too crazy um, it's actually going to be really, really easy. In fact, I'm going to do that as well, probably. Right, let me have a little bit of a mess around and I'll see what I can come up with. Because right now, it looks rubbish and um, I've got this idea and I need, to, I need to work with it. Right, so what I'm, I, I've literally got the design now. In fact, I can go down this way. Um, because I'm going to keep it as this. I'm just going to have it... Oh, actually, no. I need to dig. So I'm just going to dig down here. It's it's a little bit it's a little bit simple, but it, it kind of works. And obviously, if we put the water there, it will break off full. And yes, this is this is what I've come up with. Kind of, I might change these bits for yeah. I might actually do that now. I'm going to change these bits here down the bottom to have like like that, just to separate it a little bit and keep keep like the bottom base. You keep it as pop, bottom of the like the. the Keep it at the bottom of the bottom. <laughs> I can't even talk. What's going on? Right, and then we just have it like that, so that the, ba the base goes up a little bit, right? I don't know, I'm just making this up. In fact, I'm a block short. Have we got another one in here? Nope. Have we got another one in here? Nope. Just make some. But yeah, for the best part, I think it looks alright. Um, we can still add to it later. If need be. I'm going to make a bunch of these, to be honest. There you go. So that kind of just, I don't know, just, it's different. It's its not, it's basic, but different, right? And what, what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to do the whole bush trick again. I've seen it many times before on this Let's Play. And I'm just going to do that. I don't have enough clay pots right now. Um, I've been breeding some chickens. Um, I think for the best part, I've got, I've got enough for another one, but I'm going to need to get four. So wherever there's glowstone, apart from obviously this bit here, I'm going to actually put um, some bushes. So there's going to be bushes there. All I've got to do is do the, the uh, plant pots or the flower pots or whatever they're called. Same thing. And like that. So that just gives it a little bit more character, right? I like to add natural deco because it just it just makes it that little bit better. I'll I'm going to quickly show you guys what I've been doing off camera. I'm just going to show you. So that's that one's not been done yet. I, these this is going to contain the uh, token chickens. I've just put all of my um, current um, stash in here. This, that's not off camera, by the way. That's that's what I've had in total. But if we go over here. You can see that this is the music disc. There's only one mu music disc chicken in here because all I got to do is um, get him to come over and then just put a record inside him, and then the, all the goods would pop out 
inside here. He is actually laying eggs, um, but I can just clear that out. And I'm going to put an I'm going to put an item frame on the top here. And as you can see at the front of the house, where the the lantern is, and behind the the, the pots, um, is the block that or the it, it represents the chicken that they are. I'm not really sure how to do the token chickens. I'm thinking of putting like a banner up or something, which is red and white, uh, just to kind of get around that. But like for example, the the Dan Robs Probs chicken, they drop these blocks here, these um, reactor core things. What are they called? Yeah, nether reactor cores. Um, so what I've done is I've changed the top there to reactor cores. So that way, whenever we we can just look at the look at the huts. They look a little bit crazy because they got different patterns compared to the rest of it. But for the best part, it tells me what chickens are in there. Like over here, for example, is the sponge, and all the all the ones down here at the bottom are the the kind of special stroke rare chickens. Like in Minecraft, they're like the rare items, or they've got like a special purpose. So as you can see, I've got like uh, the sponge up there behind there, and to be honest. I've only got one sponge in there. I don't need any more. I don't really get I've got 15 sponge in here already. I don't even know if I need that. So depending on what it is, um, is how many I'm going to put in there. But you get the idea. Um, that's pretty much what what's going to happen up top. So yeah. Speaking of up top, we're actually going to go and focus on that now. I'm going to do this over time with the little uh, flower pots because yeah I don't have the I don't have the clay right now so yeah let's crack on with the the top bit up there okay so before we actually do the top part I've totally forgot that we're gonna need uh, an up column so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to the top here and I'm gonna literally you can either do it two ways you can either just kind of do block by block um, with source water source blocks or you can do what I'm gonna do and not get blown up by that creeper so Actually, in fact, I need to chop these out. Because otherwise, this isn't going to work. And we quickly run back up. So yeah, you can either like literally place water on each on each source block, um, if that's all you've got. But if you've got kelp, uh, as you can see, I've got 16 kelp. That should do it. Um, then you are set. I'm probably going to fill this in, to be honest, but. I don't know, have I got brick on me? Probably, probably just going to put some brick in there for a second. Just to make it look like there's less dirt going on. In fact, I'm probably going to even put some dirt, um, some some brick under there. But I'll, I'll do that off camera in a second. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to literally plonk that there. Let that flow to the bottom. And of course... The, the the signs here are going to stop it from flooding out, which is good. I can kind of add to this off camera. That it's not a problem. And um, yeah, so if we were to place kelp in there now, I don't think it works. Oh, sorry. If we were to put a bubble column in there now, sorry, it wouldn't work. However, if you put kelp down and just spam it all the way up, every bit of kelp creates a water source block. Okay, so now if we just jump down here, this is for those that didn't know, a lot of you probably did, there's a witch there. Okay, and then we just break that. That will now create water sources all the way up. So we're, we're all good. So all we've got to now do is find some soul sand. I'm hoping I've got some lying around here. Pretty sure i got some upstairs. So once again, I've got to jump upstairs quick. This is what I want to kind of eliminate is this bit here and have the uh, centerpiece there uh, we should have some soul sound up here I'm pretty sure I've come prepared he says he says he's come prepared and he, he, he played and he hasn't so we're gonna have to go back down again so I just come up for nothing pretty sure I've got some in here then there we go soul sound and then once we put if we've done it correctly we should get bubble bubbles coming out once we remove this dirt there we go. Perfect. So now we can just get up whenever we want. Nice. So what I want to do now then is I want to kind of focus on some build work. In fact, I don't have a... I don't have a workbench here. A craft, crafting table. 
Oh, dibs. Wake up. It's quite early, guys. Just leave me alone. <laughs> right, so I'm going to literally make a couple of them. And the rest we can have blocks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take care of this creeper. Because this creeper is going to make life a little bit tricky for me. Get rid of you. And I've got a basic idea going on in my head. So what I want to do is I want to literally... We're going to make a H. And then because this is the third one, we are literally going to bring it all the way across like that. So it's a three by three. So then we can just quickly jump in there. Um, but what I do want to do is I kind of want to mix it up a little bit. I don't want... I want to kind of put some stairs just to give it a little bit more character. That kind of deal, right? So we can just do it like this. And same goes for the other side. And of course it's raining. Did I get rid of my swirl? Oh, I must have got... I had the swirlies and I got rid of them off camera. I forgot. I was like, oh, where did they go? Right, again, I'm, I'm not going to use any... Um, scaffolding because I'm a bedrock scaffold noob and then I'm just gonna literally bring this up one more and do this so we can kind of repeat that stair pattern again I want to do that again and I think for the best part that's as high as I'm gonna go I think that's as high as I'm gonna go with this so just gives it a character, you know, st it, rather than just it be a straight pillar. And then what I want to do to give it even more character is this. I'm going to need some acacia wood. Be right back. Right, so I've, I've chopped down some acacia. I, I need about six. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to go like that, maybe. Or should I go down one more? Yeah, I'm going to go down one more. And then, so it's just a block below the thing. I'm going to strip it like that. And then the rest of it, I'm going to... Have I got any in, have I got any in this chest? I don't. Okay. In fact, I don't know whether I should do... I've got, I got three options to me, and I, I'm going to see which one I find best. Okay, that's more than enough. Uh, definitely not Acacia. Oh, definitely not that. Meh. I think Spruce is going to win. Yeah, Spruce is definitely going to win. It just pops a little bit better. Because we got it. We got Spruce on the base. And then we got that like that. So for the best part, that's that's really good. I like that. And then we're going to... You've probably seen that... If, if those of you that watched Season 1, I've done something very similar. I use this trick a lot. You get like... Uh, you can make arrows with stairs. So I could put any kind of stairs in there and it will still work. It doesn't have to be that, but I just like the white because it just pops that, that little bit better. Uh, and that one will be up. That's coming up and this one's going down. So that way if I ever get disorientated, I can just literally uh, check that one out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to literally just take out this. Oh, by the way, I got um, black dye from the... Um, the trader. You can get black dye uh, or ink sacks from the trader, which is really good. I'll take that as well. Um, I can just. I need some, some. I need some blocks to sort of jump up on because, you know, I'm rubbish on scaffolding. Get rid of you. Don't need you now. Uh, do I need you? No. So I need you. I need you. And those that watched, again, those that watched season one will know exactly what I'm going to be doing right now. This is kind of like a callback to season one. And uh, it'd be rude not to have one of these. In fact, I'm planning to have different, different one of these, um, depending on what the best one is on each of these platforms. This is just going to be a bog standard one. It's not going to be anything, um, anything like crazy right so I'm just gonna quickly build it all on camera now because it's very very easy to build and this isn't my my design by the way I've, I've seen this on the internet a couple of times now 
it just it it just fits what I want to do. So what we got here? One, two, three, and then. Huh? I think it's this. Um, I think I've just got enough. I don't know. Just gonna put that on top like that, and we're gonna put a little tail at the. Top here, I guess. I think it's the top. I'm not sure. I can change it in a minute. Um, it's quite hard to see from this this angle. But I'm just going to quickly jump up here, and then we're going to pop out that one and that one, and then we're just going to put the black concrete. I'm so glad we got black. We got black available to us, and then it's that one. This is quite tricky because I don't want to jump down. And you guys are probably guessing what it is right now, in all fairness. If you don't, then, uh, well, what's wrong with you? It's easy. It's a chicken. I need to go and sleep quick. And I know I don't have the uh, plant pots yet, but I definitely, definitely want to get the old bushes going because it just adds, again, it just adds that little bit more detail. I'm going to just literally put the, I'll put the leaves where they need to go for now. But I'll do the rest off camera. Um, I can kind of show you next time as well. Once I've done it. Because this is what I'm going to focus on. I'm just going to make sure that I tie up loose ends off camera. Because otherwise I just don't have the time to wait. So yeah. We're going to have the bushes at the side. That looks pretty cool. And let's have a little look at the, the chicken itself. I'm going to take a screenshot once this is all done by the way. All the plant pots as well. But for the best part that looks alright. I'm actually quite happy about that. It looks really cool. In fact, I'll probably get a good screenshot in, um, off camera. But that, that's that's pretty much all I wanted to do today is is the lift in the in the middle. I still need to do. Ah, oh. oh, dibs! You're an idiot. Okay, I'm gonna need to sort that out. But for the best part, yeah, that's that's really really nice. I I love that from the the se season one, but. I wanted him quite high. I didn't want him much higher than that, but that to me is just about right. Kind of just makes him pop out. And like I said, I'm going to make um, a couple of them. I'm going to make a couple of these on each, well, one on the center of each island. And these little, these little cobble bits here. So that's, this is basically a chicken coop area. And this is going to be a cobble one. It's going to be stone one there. Uh, glass is over there, sand is over there, you get the idea. And see these five uh, cobble slabs? They represent the footprint of the, um, the the actual chicken coop. Now what I'm thinking of doing is they are quite symmetrical in all fairness. They're not probably, they're not dead center, but they are close enough. Um, but what I might do is I might actually mix it up a bit. I might make uh, this one kind of face that way and over here a bit so that the path comes out this way. I might just make it a little bit random because I, at first I thought, right, I'm just going to put them all symmetrical, but I might actually mix it up a little bit throughout the whole, throughout the whole like um, island sort of thing. But yeah, for the best part, this is going to look really good. I'm probably going to do all of this decoration on a live stream. I'm going to do all the chicken coops. Uh, on live streams and maybe not not necessarily some of it's going to be off camera but for the best part um, if I'm going to do any of the, the it's going to basically be this kind of idea going throughout um, it's just kind of to separate the chicken coops and make them look in, like they are in their own portion of this plate um, that kind of thing so and I, I want to make it look busy that's all I want to do I want to make it look busy than it needs to be Sometimes busy ain't good, but it's it's simple busy. If it's not a com a complex busy, it's a simple busy. So yeah, I'll probably do a lot of this plate on 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 a live stream, or if not off camera, I'll see. Um, but the same deal goes for the other plates as well. So um, what I'm going to do with the chicken though is I'm going to have the best uh, chicken, in my opinion, on as as the centerpiece, right? So, for example, diamond would be this one, right? So, we'd have a diamond chicken up here. Um, we'd probably have what's... I can't remember what blocks are over there, to be honest. Uh, 
I don't know. Definitely can't have an ice chicken because uh, there's going to be light. There's a light source under his feet just to like light it up a little bit. Um, over there, I don't know. I'm just going to pick my favorite one and make it a statue in the middle. And then it would just all connect. And it, it, once all, all of these plates are done, that's pretty much it. All I got to do after that is then um, just detail the whole island a little bit more. Um, maybe fill this out a bit. I'm thinking about putting trees on each portion. So we got acacia there. Um, we can have trees on this one. Um, so hang on. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four five six yeah we could totally do that in fact we could probably yeah we could probably do that we could have this half as one like put trees on the edge like like up here uh, so this half would be one type of tree this half would be another type of tree and on each one of these platforms could have a a different type so we've got six types of trees hopefully that makes sense but um yeah i kind of need to decorate it also, what we need to do is focus on other animals, like these guys, crops, that kind of thing. I kind of just want to fill it out, because at the moment, this under here looks a little bit meh. It, the best part of here is my epic little mushroom house, and also this guy here. Uh, it looks pretty good, right? So, it's not looking too bad. We're, we're actually doing pretty well in regards to how this, this is starting to turn out. I'm really liking it. I like I like that. I, I I just like acacia. It just looks cool. And acacia goes really well with stone bricks. Like really well, in my opinion. What have you got? I need to wrap up this this uh, episode really fast. But yeah, I need to do something with these walls. I know exactly. I've got plans for it, but um, they're gonna be kind of like uh, archways, and they're gonna have animals on on a balcony. Um, it's quite hard to explain, but and there's going to be like the relevant crops nearby and that sort of thing. I'm just kind of, I'm just going to basically be making use of this space inside and poking on the outside as well. So that hopefully that's that's the way it's going to be. Anyways, this is going on long enough. I think this is going to be near, almost a 30 minute episode. I could be completely wrong because I haven't been timing it. But yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to uh, give it some love. And I shall see you in the next live stream or episode of Chicken Block. Don't forget they are slowing down now. It's because there's a lot to do. And I kind of want to go for the finishing line. I reckon this, this Let's Play will be finished by episode 30 maximum. Like literally episode 30. Maybe even sooner. I, I, would, have say, I would say it would be sooner. Because there's not a lot to do there's not a great deal to do but one of these entrances i'm going to do on camera the rest of them i'm going to do off camera so that's one episode and then it's just detailing um so yeah we haven't got many episodes left guys i'm just going to throw that one out there um it's a shame because i love chicken block but for the best part i have actually got a lot of work to do still i've got a lot of live street live streams i need to get the chickens in there like correct homes all sorts there's still ways to go but episode wise not really maybe more live streams now than episodes but for the best part there's a lot more chicken block content if you watch the uh, live streams and class that as content then you've still got a really really long way to go um, before this this ends I know some of you will be pretty sad to see this go but uh, yeah everything comes to an end right so anyways thanks for watching see you in the next one take it easy